we're gonna tap into your brain power a little bit today. So you're gonna have to think a little bit. I know, you'll be fine. Um, you're gonna have to think a little bit as we go through some of the drills. You're gonna have to use your vision, um, but we'll get there. So be patient, um, but it's time to kind of take the excellent level of athletes that we have and start really working on your, your processing power, your ability to be a savvy setter. So, you guys ever heard the word savvy or savvy setter? Have you ever heard of that? Does anyone know what savvy means? Anyone, do you guys have to, someone has to know. Who knows? What does savvy mean? Yeah, you. You don't know? Does anyone know what the word savvy means? Yes. Okay. Smooth, yep. Creative, okay. Um, smart, okay. All that makes a savvy setter. So um, we're just gonna think about that. One of the things that we focus on at CVA is a lot of your body control. And your body control, why we've been working on that for so long is to make sure that you are able to repeat set, okay? And if you are, if you are repeating your setting, that means you're repeating your form, okay? And you have to, you can't have one or the other to be able to repeat your set. And what I mean, that doesn't mean like, oh, I set my outside, they made a mistake, I'm repeat setting them. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about repeating your, your body posture, your technique, your ability to repeat a set. The only way you can do that is to repeat your form consistently. And that's super important. That's why we've worked on what we've worked on up to now is to make sure that you're in control of your body so that you can make better decisions to then become smarter as a player, then be a savvy setter, okay? Being a savvy setter doesn't necessarily mean that you're, you are the most athletic. Okay, it do, that's not a requirement. What it does require is your ability to control your body, control your mind, so that you can make better decisions, which in turn sets up your hitters to be more successful. And that's a huge part of our job. We need to set the best ball we can to the best hitter we can to be successful, and that's hard. So you have to be smart at that point. So an example, pretty simple. If Sam's, I don't need a ball. If Sam's a middle and a ball's coming this way and I have really good posture and he steps that way, two steps, okay? The middle is going over there, I can set back. I'm able to make a decision at that point. If I'm able to make a decision, then you're a savvy setter, okay? If I'm out of control with my body, okay? And I'm wobbling around or I'm late, okay? Then I can't make a decision. And that's something that we want to work on. And that's why we have done so much technique work and footwork work and body control work to get ourselves in a position to be able to make decisions. Okay, so that's something I really want to focus on. Um, and how that, I guess, let me explain the end result. The end result is we become very deceptive, okay? We're, we become a smarter team. We become a more efficient team. Our hitters are one-on-one -on -one more than not. Okay, and if that's the case, we have, like I said, you guys are excellent athletes. We have elite level hitters. We hit some. We have, we have uh, players who can execute if a ball is set to them well, and they definitely prefer hitting against a single block. So if we can do a good job as a setter, our hitters can do a better job. We can side out more efficiently. We can score more consistently. And at that point, we're playing the game easy instead of hard, okay? So I want you guys to think about today as we start stepping out of technique focus, meaning you're gonna have to use your brain a little bit. What that requires is that you, the technique part of it has to happen. Okay, I'm just not gonna focus on it as much. But it's on you to be disciplined and be able to execute that, to then be able to do the drills we wanna do. 
Does that make sense? Okay, all right, a ball and two partners. Let's go through our typical setting warm up. 